Peace, my loves, and welcome to Sensual Flows. A big part of stretching and setting the mood for stretching is making sure you're comfortable. Open the windows, get you some incense, get your bowl, whatever is going to make you comfortable. Also, you may want to have some water while you're stretching, and you can even opt to have on some type of socks. That way you can stretch real nice into your splits, and you may want to grab some pillows for any type of discomfort while you're doing different poses. You also may want to have a roller, or you can also opt to have your yoga blocks and of course you want to have your yoga mat so i'm going to go ahead and start by flattening out my yoga mat i'm going to go ahead and start my incense up this is an aphrodisiac incense but you can use whatever incense that you feel comfortable with i personally like to use aphrodisiac incense because it's going to help with that essential energy it's going to help me feel very loose and i just like the smell of it so yeah Okay, so go ahead and grab your pillow. We're gonna start off with some gentle breath work. This is something I've been doing a lot lately. You're essentially gonna be alternating between your different nostrils and definitely connecting to the breath to get present and get grounded. So right hand can go on the womb. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your thumb and you're gonna take your pinky and you're gonna alternate each side of your nostril. You're going to breathe in as your thumb is closing the right nostril and then you're going to exhale and as you're exhaling your pinky is going to close your left nostril okay so we're going to go into some slight neck rolls really really simple we're going to get very comfortable you can even start caressing your body here caressing the legs if you're somebody like me i used to struggle with my legs i used to hate my long legs but now i love my long legs i tell my legs that i love them i'm feeling very free these days in my sensuality and just movement overall you can also introduce some different arm movements okay you can go up and down the body really gentle focus on really being flowy when it comes down to sensual flows, you want to have this energy of grace. You want to feel yourself, feel the movement, actually breathe and connect yourself with the movement. Breathing in as we go up and breathing out as we kind of go down. So just connecting your breath with your movement is very powerful for sensual flows and just yoga in general. Okay, and we're going to continue on doing our arm movements here, making sure we feel the best piece of information too when it comes to sensual flows is making sure that we have our proud chest. So our proud chest is when we're sticking out our chest, making sure we feel confident with each and every movement. We're going to go ahead and open up our hips a bit here, adding in some wrist movement if you want. I'm very big on limb mobility, so introducing your ankles introducing your wrist even just really getting comfortable and making yourself feel good that's really really what stretching is all about here okay so we're going to continue into our wide leg stretch here you can hold it you can open up some space for more mobility in the hips i personally like to take my left arm and go down to my left foot and you're also going to see me switch sides here in a little bit and really just focusing on making more space. Okay, so you wanna just focus on the breath, connecting each and every breath to movement, being slow, being graceful. Okay, so we're gonna slowly move into our next pose. This is what is known as cat and cow, but I kind of make it my own and I introduce the hip mobility. I'm very big on hip mobility, get into these hips. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly, almost like we're trying to take our tailbone and put it into a circle, right? We're gonna slowly but surely rotate our hips, add some hip movement. You can even rest down in child pose because this particular position pose can be a lot, especially on the lower back as we go down and we're making sure that we're breathing taking time to open space because gravity is really going to help if you have any type of lower back pain this is really good because gravity is going to assist with definitely making space in that spine take care of your spine your spine is so sacred and it does a lot of things for us we put a lot of pressure on it a lot of us sit throughout the day so this is a very very good stretch to open space and get some more mobility in there especially if you still feel stiff in your lower back 
go ahead and drink some water if you need to because stretching can definitely be a lot sometimes so make sure you stay hydrated guys okay okay so now we're gonna get into our next pose this is what they call windshield wiper it's a variation of it so you're gonna take your right knee and your left knee and pretty much just alternate this is definitely going to allow some movement into our hips this is going to allow us to definitely open space here you may get a little pops little cracks here and there you can option to come up to a hip bridge if you can if not if it feels like too much crunchiness don't worry about it definitely work your way up to it because the more mobility that we get in our muscles and the more muscle memory that we create while we're stretching the deeper we can go into stretches so now we're going to go into our butterfly pose this is one of my favorite instead of what some people do they kind of like rock into it i like to actually push my elbows down into my knees so it may feel a bit painful you can also opt to use your hands as well but i like to use my elbows because it's more helpful you can also add some neck stretches in here making more space in our hips by winding up our hips if you want to if you feel up for it the biggest thing with stretching is do what feels comfortable for you Okay, so taking a quick switch here to the wall. What we're gonna do, this is called legs up the wall. It helps with diabetes, any type of stress. First thing you wake up in the rising, this is a great stretch to do because it really just helps you get that balance and have that ability to ground yourself within. Option to open, straddle your legs. This is going to allow gravity to assist us with bringing our legs down to then make more space. So what I'm doing here is I'm also going to bring up my knees. If this feels like it's too much, you don't have to worry about it. Of course, like I said, gravity is helping us. It is going to assist with bringing our knees down and getting more space into our hips. You can also choose to do a butterfly variation on the wall. Different variations feel different, and of course, different muscle groups are going to be used. So definitely just see what works best for you, which one you like better, if you like all of them, if you feel up up for it you can even kind of go up on the wall and do some type of like L stretches y'all when I be stretching I just be doing stuff like I don't know what even this is called but it just feels good like my body was just craving it so do it right so you know do what your body wants your body to do your body knows your body best Okay, so here I'm just going to roll up my mat because at the end of my stretching, I like to introduce split stretches. So you want to take your pillow or you can also choose your yoga block or your circular thing. I'm going to go with my pillow though because it feels better. And you're going to essentially do pigeon pose, which is where you're taking your right knee, putting it at an angle and slowly but surely bending over. Now, some people may be able to go lower than other people you may be able to go lower than me you may not be able to go that low at all but it's okay definitely just breathe through the stretch you can even get deeper by taking your arms and shifting it over to the opposite side of the leg that you have so if I had the right leg up I would shift over to the left side so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my other side you're gonna see me switch here by bringing up my left knee breathing down taking our time and going over to that right side okay you're really gonna feel that it feels so good when I do that I love it so much so take your time if it feels good to stretch your neck bend your back arch it whatever you feel whatever variation feels comfortable for you and your body okay so if you're like a beginner this may not be for you I've been stretching for quite a while so like I said I like to introduce my split stretches so I actually go into my split because I've been trying to do my splits more consistently with this 2023 year because we doing splits all 2023 y'all I'm not playing so I'm essentially just sliding this is where your socks come in handy because I'm just gonna slide down and let gravity just do what it does I am gonna try both sides you'll see that one side is better than the other side but that's okay you still want to try it right 
Okay, so a big part of my closeout sessions are me just finding more space that my temple is craving. So it's always the hips for me. So you're going to see me go into a deeper pigeon pose here, making sure we keep that open, proud chest that I've talked about. If you guys want to learn more about sensual healing and healing through movement, definitely check out my two-day online sensual healing workshop. I'll be sure to put the information down below so you guys can see, and you can click on the website to check out more information. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time. Peace, my loves, and have a beautiful time stretching your temples.